Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, I don't see anything that's of use for us. Oh, jeez. No, 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 Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, it is that time once again we are back with some sinking ship survival. So today, it's going to be a bit of a plot twist. It's going to be a bit of a different episode. I've got a scenario planned out. Obviously, you probably saw kind of what it was from the uh, title. But anyways, uh, we're going to be starting off here with, it's called, I think, the Damien Class uh, ship here. This is an absolute beauty, and I believe this is going to make a very, very good candidate for the sinking ship survival. Now, if you missed it, I had a normal Stormworks episode during the week. I'll flash it in the top right corner. Uh, we did some missions, checked out some cool creations. So if you want to see some normal Stormworks there. But you guys are always very, very supportive of the uh, sinking ship survival. So if you want to see more of it on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and comment below with new scenarios for the sinking ships. All right, so I just had to confirm this is the Damon multi-purpose ship. I will link it down in the description. So we're going to hop aboard here. It's going to hop in the water. Now, we have a bit of a search mission. Uh, we've had some really bad storms as of recent. Uh, Visibility is pretty low right now, but we have a report of a ship that has basically vanished. And we need to find it here. So, anyways, the uh, Damon multi-purpose ship, you can see that it's lined up. It's got the magnets for the helicopters here. Uh, you've got a big back winch, which if we, can, uh, if we can find that ship, we'll go ahead and hook it up and bring it back into port here. But uh, this is actually just a magnificent ship. It's got cranes on it. Uh, it does have some lifeboats, so we need to know where those are there. And apparently it has a does nothing button, too. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get up here. We're about to fire up the engines. I think we need to hook this up. This looks like it's loose. This uh, appears to be kind of like a little bit of a, uh, a dinghy. Uh, there's a toggle button here. Is this thing attached to the bottom? I'm not really sure. I have to read the instructions again. I really do think we need to attach this by magnet. I'm trying to figure out, you know, it might actually be hooked in. You know, that might just be the crane to actually uh, get it off the boat here. All right, so under here, it's got a couple, you know, I'm kind of curious if these actually work. It's got the backup engine fuel tank. Maybe he's trying to prepare for future uh, stuff in Stormworks. I know a lot of people want to see uh, fuel uh, be a thing in Stormworks. So we're going to go ahead. We'll enter down here. There we go. And because everybody likes to see me close doors, I'm going to keep these doors closed here. I know it's a bad habit. Sometimes I forget to do it. So it appears, what is this area? Is this just kind of like a... Maybe a rescue area? Say you get a lot of people on board. Alright, let's go ahead and go into here. This appears to be some sort of... Well, this almost looks like a supply room, to be honest with you. Uh, what is this? There's some logic. Uh, maybe almost like an engine room? I'm not really sure. Alright, this is under here. Okay, this is a medic bay, so that's going to be under the, uh, the lifeboat there. Alright, let's go up to the next floor here. The next deck, I should say. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our surroundings here. It's always good to learn these uh, before you do the sinking ship survival. So, let's go and turn those on here. This looks like crew quarters. Uh, maybe, are these doors? Do they lead anywhere? No, they wouldn't appear like they do. Oh, let's go down here to the end. Uh, that's an elevator. Okay, we'll use that here in a second. Kind of curious as to where that goes because we've already been under the deck. So, I'm not really sure. All right, so it's elevators on both sides. Let's go ahead and go below deck real quick. Can we go up from here? No, we can't. So what is this down here is the question. Looks like, okay, here's our engine rooms. Well, I guess while we're down here, we should go ahead and get this bad boy fired up. What are we dealing with? Six engines here? We got, looks like, actually, that'd be eight engines, wouldn't it be? All right, let's go ahead and key start all of these. These don't seem to be firing, do they? Okay, maybe they just need to be in the on position. We'll uh, we'll actually turn them on up in the uh, the bridge. All right, we're up here. This is a glorious view, and it looks like we are ready to uh, enter in the bridge. Huh? We can go up on top of here. Is there anything we should see up here? What the heck is this? Uh, is this an area we should be concerned with? No. Looks like where all your uh, your horns are. You got maybe there's a lot of fog horns on this. Uh, possible? Is there search lights on this? Uh, we're probably going to need it before the day's over with. 
All right, so we got a little map here. We're going to light that up. Uh, is there a way to go below deck? So we got to keep in mind, the only way up on the bridge, you have to go by the uh, the outside deck. It doesn't appear like there's any stairs or anything around here. All right, so we got that lit up. Let's go ahead. All right, there's the ballast. So we know where that is. Looks like we got the ballast fills over here. Let's go ahead and get those lights on there. Uh, so, okay, that's the door there. All right, I think we are all ready to go here. There's another toggle button. We're gonna hit that just for good measure. So yeah, the engine start uh, looks like the switch is up, so those are primed, ready to go. Let's go and turn on our deck lights. It does have a water pump. Hey, look, it's got a Titanic mode button too. This is very common with ships now. <laughs> I've uh, actually installed my own. I saw the uh, the way it was. It looked like it would be something that would drain really fast. Uh, because it looks like it was used on a door, so I, I kind of put a, a little bit slower one on it. I don't like my uh, don't like my ships to sink too fast. All right, so we are gonna move slightly. We'll move about right to here. All right, so we have one last thing that we're gonna need to do before we go searching for this ship, and I'm gonna go grab a helicopter. I want a, another means of escape for this one because I have been actually I'll say I have a very very terrible track record of actually getting the lifeboats, which. Yeah, I don't want to do that today. I want to actually escape, so let's make sure this is powered and ready to go. Okay, magnets on. All right, let's go get a little mini chopper here. All right, so we are set and ready to go. Everything's looking pretty good. Helicopter's here. Uh, we're ready to get out into the water and see if we can find those people. Okay, so we're going to have to be really, really careful uh, leaving port here. Uh, it is extremely foggy out. Uh, we don't expect... Any sort of uh, any sort of rain or anything. Uh, the waters might be a little bit choppy at some point, but for the most part, everything's pretty good. Let's see. All right, I think we are. Yeah, we're booking along here, but yeah, this is terrible. Oh, these are not ideal conditions. All right, we're in just a just a little bit of rain right now. We got our navigation set. We're actually going to cruise between two uh, islands here. So we should be good to go. No other reports of ships in the area. So the problem has been, there's been a lot of ships. Well, we've had two disappearances of ships. And we had one last week that the guy swore he went down. And then he says the ship miraculously came back up out of the water. Which I'm pretty sure everybody thinks he's crazy. So I don't know. Maybe some weird things happening. But I think for the most part, uh, maybe we're just dealing with a bunch of loonies. Uh, you can somewhat see the outline of the island that we're coming up on. We're going to start to uh, kind of curve over to the left here. Okay, so we're heading northeast right now. We're going to start to cut more north here in just a moment. Uh, it has gotten absolutely bad with the fog out here. Uh, Visibility is really low. I'm pretty sure this just isn't going to work here today. Uh, it, we would be really, really lucky to find something. Hold on, let's just go give just a real quick check on the decks real quick. Uh, let's see, open those up. Yeah, this is about as bad as I've ever seen the fog out here. Alright, let's give a little check. Everything seem okay? Uh, catching some light, I'm assuming that's the sun setting right now. Oh boy. Alright, well hopefully some of this will break up a bit, that way we can get some visibility and be able to see, uh, possibly where this ship is. All right, we've been going for a ways here. I think we are right in the vicinity where the ship's radar, where everything just shut off and the thing basically disappeared. So we're going to stop here. Let's go and give it a little look out on the deck just to check over everything. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, we're not going to find anything out here tonight. Look how dark it is. Even our, uh, our fog lights are not even cutting through, really. I mean, what, we can see maybe 10 feet off the uh, the front of the boat here? Hold on, let's go down. Oh, jeez. Let's get close to the water. Try not to fall in this thing. Yeah. Probably gonna have to call this off. This just doesn't seem safe. All right, we're on the back of the boat here. We're just gonna take a quick look overboard. Just see if we see anything. Like, uh, I know we're by a couple land masses here, which that looks like it's probably an island there. Uh, this looks like something's moving in the water over there. I don't even want to question what that is. Oh, let's go over on this side. Anything? That's probably another landmass over there. I'm not seeing a thing. Alright. 
Well, we're going to start making a circle around the area, and we'll kind of close in. Uh, we'll kind of get a big search bubble here and see if we can find them. All right. So we've tightened our search bubble here. I don't think we're going to find anything. So we're probably about to call it a day. We'll go back into the dock, and then maybe in the morning, once we have more visibility, we'll go ahead and go back out. All right. I don't see anything that's of use for us. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Jeez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just hit a ship. Oh, uh, we just hit a ship. All right. Ship alarm's on. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not good at all. Haunt. We need to get over there real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, why's the hydrant going off? Oh, where'd the ship go? What? No, we just hit a ship. Oh, did it go down? Uh oh. Oh, no, I think it's under us. Oh, that's bad. Hold on, let's get over there. All right, we got emergency alarms going off. That's bad. That's really, really bad. All right, let's see. Oh, it's still up. The heck? Why is it? Okay, it's dead in the water. We need to get aboard real quick. Let me check. I'm surprised we didn't capsize it there. Oh boy, I'm pretty sure that's not good for our ship either. No telling what type of damage we took there. All right, huh, let's search around here. I'm not seeing anybody. Where the heck is everybody at? Huh, we'll go around to this side of the boat. Oh, this boat feels like it's leaning a bit. Huh, let's go in. Is anybody home? Where's the crew at? All right, it's not making any sense. Maybe they're in the bridge, possibly. Here, let's see if we can get up to the bridge. All right, just looking at the front of the boat here, we did damage it pretty bad. It's going down. Yeah, you can see uh, the front of this boat compared to the front of the boat that we're currently on. Yeah, this is sinking. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead, get these ready. We're going to release this. There we go. We're going to release the lifeboat. That way, hopefully, if anybody else is aboard here, uh, we'll be able to help them out. Huh? Let's get up here. Okay, let's get up to the bridge real quick. Oh, this is a very bad situation here. Uh, they just, they came out of nowheres. All right, let's go and open this. All right, where's the, where's the crew? What the heck? All right, all right, there's no crew aboard. Did they abandon ship? Oh boy, maybe they're in the water. Okay, why would they, why would they abandon the ship though? The ship was perfectly fine, it seemed like. Hon, let's go down. We're not through with our search yet. All right, come on. Is anybody in here? The heck? Oh, wait. Somebody I believe is in here. Yeah. No. All right, they've abandoned ship. We need to hurry up and get out of here. This thing is. Oh yeah, it's leaning big time. Uh, let's confirm. Yep. Confirm. This ship is going down. Okay, we need to move to our second priority, which is our own ship. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure we might have sustained some damage, too. Oh, let's get over here. Oh, that is not good at all. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's pitching up on... That might clip us here. All right, we need to get down to the bottom of our ship to see if we're taking on any water here. All right, we're getting over to the elevator. Uh, we're in a bit of a time crunch here. All right, let's go down. Uh, let's see. Anything? Anything? Okay, I think we're okay right now. Let's get this light on real quick. Alright. Now, we appear to be, uh, without damage at the moment. Alright, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and go back up to the top of the deck here. Uh, yep, the front of it's going down. Wow. That is some scary stuff there. Alright. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and check all of our systems real quick. We've got our gauges. Uh, we'll be able to see if everything's okay. Let's go ahead and check. Okay, apparently we are... Our listing left button is on. Okay, that's probably not good. Uh, what is that? That's the water level in the hole, which doesn't appear to be moving. So, I think we're okay there. Alright, and checking everything, this... It does seem like we're okay. Except for, I get a feeling, yeah, let's just stand here. I get a feeling that we're leaning towards the front a bit. That would have been the impact zone. 
All right, we'll have to check our water levels here. All right, so it appears that the sun is coming up, so as far as visibility, that's a little bit better, at least a little bit more comforting. Uh, let's get around to the front of the boat here. Yeah, those pumps. Man, we must have hit so hard that it turned the pumps on. Uh, yeah, wait. Wait. Wait a minute. That water level does seem a bit close on the front. Yeah, we must have some sort of, uh, some sort of leak or something. All right, we're going to have to go ahead and turn on the power, and we're going to need to start moving towards land here. Uh, we don't have much of a... Oh! Oh, look at that! Wow, that... That is crazy looking. All right, we don't have time to waste. We're going to have to move on. All right, there goes the boat down. Yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely taking on water right now. So let's go ahead. Oh! The back deck! Yeah, that's definitely going up. That gauge is going up. Okay, so we need to just go full steam here. Uh, we're going to lose the chopper. All right. You know, I never saw the lifeboat on that other ship. I don't know what the heck happened with that. All right, we need to just start chugging along. You know, that pump might actually be helping. I don't know where this thing's getting its water from. If we keep that front pump on uh, with the firefighting... And oh, no, we're going down quick. Oh, no, we're going down really quick. We're cruising along, but she's starting to tilt on us. Uh, we can't wait much longer. Do we want to go by helicopter? Or do we want to go by maybe the life raft there? Uh, we just got to chug a little bit further. We're not that far from land. Actually, I think we're passing by one of the islands, one of the smaller ones. We might actually take refuge here. Oh, that's nutty looking. You're just watching the water just rush over. All right, we got to stop here. This is it. Oh, we are... I think we're capsizing. It is leaning really hard right now. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, buddy. Okay, just look at the water level on the helicopter. I think we can make it out to the helicopter, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, that might be a never mind. Let's go ahead. I believe this is the release for the lifeboat. There it goes. Lifeboat is released. Oh, uh, buddy. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're going to step off in the water here. Oh, okay. We're not swimming yet, but we're pretty darn close. Let's go ahead and get the bird fired up here. And we're not going to detach it. We need to make sure that we can uh, evacuate the ship, of course, like we should. All right, cockpit lights, interior lights are on. Let's see. Let's go ahead. We're going to fire this thing. There's the autopilot. Okay, engine ignition. Okay, keep the connector attached. Make sure our auto hover. Those uh, interior lights are really bright. There we go. You know, I don't wonder if we can create enough lift here to try to try to pull the boat out. Look at that. That's somewhat working. Uh oh, that might actually be bad. I think we're just going to tip the boat to the front here. Uh, oh, no, it's pushing back. Okay. All right. Chopper's cranked. Almost ready to go. Uh, we'll detach here in just a second. All right. Oh, look at that water level. It's almost... Yeah, definitely the uh, the engine rooms are filled right now. Yeah, you can see this is where the rescue... I'm assuming it's like a staging area. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, we're going down big time. All right, we got to make one last visit to the, uh, the bridge. And then we're going to have to abandon ship here. All right, so we turned our alarms on. Foghorn is on. We're getting off this ship. Uh, we are going to actually escape it this time. There's no going down with it today, folks. All right, let's get over there. Oh, she's going down fast now. All right, come on. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Almost there. All right. Oh, there's water in the chopper. That's not good. Okay, we need to get in the pilot seat. All right, let's... Uh, oh, look at the water filling on. Detach. There we go. Uh, let's get the bird up in the air. There it goes. Oh, man. Coast Guard's going to not be happy about this one. Wow. All right, I guess we just have to watch her go down here. We don't have any other option. There it goes. She's leaning over to the side. And, oh, it's sinking rapidly now. Yeah, what was that? Maybe 30, 30 more seconds on the ship? Maybe a minute? And there goes the bridge. Uh, and you guys have never seen a view like this. We're actually in the uh, camera mode. 
in the current moment. But yeah, I'll check that out. That's crazy. This is still probably one of my favorite things about Stormworks. Oh, you can see the water bubbles coming up through the bridge. It's uh, the inside's filling up. And would you look at that, the lifeboat. The lifeboat actually went down with the ship. I think we made the right choice here, folks. All right, let's get back to land. You can see the lights off the boat. Oh, that's terrible. I think the, uh, I do believe the lifeboat was just released. Yeah, it's traveling upwards right now. Yep, that would not have been enough time for us here. It's getting a little laggy too. For some reason, when these ships get to the bottom of the sea, that's when the lag just kicks in. All right, well, let's get back to land here. But anyways, folks, we are finally back ashore. Uh, pretty tough little mission there. That was a fun one. Uh, I do like the whole fact that I had tons of comments saying you need to actually escape this. Don't go down underwater with the ship today. So we had a little bit of everything here. That was our first attempt at a, a boat crash in Stormworks, I think, besides uh, some of our multiplayer madness. I know some people have been requesting uh, another plane survival scenario. I'll have to see what we can get together. But yeah, do check out the creations link down in the description. And uh, do comment below with new scenarios that you would like. Uh, let me know how you like this one. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.